Hello everyone and welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, tutorial, not tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over properties, printing the values of properties from within our Roblox script. Last tutorial, we went over getting through the hierarchy, the explorer's hierarchy um by scripting. We're not going to do too much different. It's actually a lot the same. Um and I'll show you that now. So we'll go here and we're actually going to take out that and just go back to workspace. Now let's go to workspace and look at its properties real quick. Um, I see lo a lot of properties that some of you guys might not know um, what it is. But we're going to just print the parent of it. Yeah, it's parent. Now, parent looks like it's a string value down here. And by the way, when it's grayed out like that, it means you can't change it other than th through scripting. And sometimes even by scripting, you can't change it because uh, it might be a locked property. But parent. the par uh, We've gone over child, and I think I've even said parent in our hierarchy uh, tutorial. I think episode three. Um, but... Parent down here is a property. It's not just something we see in the hierarchy. Well, everything's parent is its property because otherwise Roblox would get lost and it wouldn't be able to keep track because it doesn't keep track of inside each bigger thing. It's children in a property. It's much easier to just keep track of it in each child so that it can also be changed for each child very easily, very smoothly without possibly messing anything else up. So... What are we going to do about this? Pa Let's just... Okay. Parent is not a string value as it might look right now. It's actually an object value, meaning it contains the path to an object. So we're going to go up here and we're going to type in game.workspace.parent. Fail.parent. Now we're going to go over here. We're going to go to our script. And as you guys can see, I still got the output from last tutorial. And we're going to click Disable, Enable. And it's going to print Place 1. That is sort of the name... Okay, since we're in um, Studio and Edit mode right now, instead of it technically being called Game, or Game, uh, it's called Place 1 because that's the name of the game, if that makes any sense, and that no rhyme intended. It's the name of the game, place one. No, no pun or rhyme or anything intended. Uh, so that's how we print something's parent. That's one property. Now let's go down to our base. Now what if we wanted to print its uh, brick color? Let's go down and let's refind our base. We have to go game dot workspace dot base and now just like when you're trying to find the child of something you just put the dot separator and then the property name you want make sure you don't have an object named the same as something's property might be because then Roblox won't know what to do and it'll look for the property and the object because they're both there and uh, you'll get an error and your script will break possibly your entire game will break too uh, depending on how important your script is to the game. So we're going to go down here. Disable, enable. Black. How do we know that's true? Because if we go to base, and we scroll up, we see its brick color is, in fact, black. So we also know that this is a brick color value, though, and that we can't just change it by typing into it. Why does it print? Why does Roblox always print it as a string? Because print, when it's used as a function and not just a command, will convert everything to a string because it can't print anything else. That's why. So we're going to go over a couple more quick properties, maybe one or two. Go into the script and uh, let's highlight base again. This time we're going to print it's reflectance. 
So, just like last time, we're just going to change this to Reflectance. Remember, it's case sensitive. I can't stress that enough. Going to highlight our script. Going to go down here. Disable, enable. We get zero, which is the Reflectance, as we saw already. Let's go into our script and do one more. Let's print its position. And I don't know if I showed you guys this too much, but that's a vector 3 value. And that vector 3 value determines exactly where it is in the workspace. Or in the view. Like, it's the coordinates. So we're going to go back here. We're going to get to our script again. Go down here. Disable. Enable. And we get the exact coordinates of our object its position. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button. Correspond now you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.